coronary artery disease uh, refers to blockages in the arteries of the heart, which may be contributing to symptoms of chest pain, shortness of breath. Sometimes in the advanced stages, it may cause heart attack. So coronary artery disease in general sense means that there is disease in the vessels that are supplying blood to the heart muscle. Non-invasive techniques for evaluating coronary artery disease have been uh, stress testing. Specifically for the stress testing, it's a very indirect way of looking at the blood flow to the muscles of the heart. So a lot of times there are certain uncertainties or it may not be as accurate as with CTFFR. CTFFR is an advanced technique of analyzing CT images. We perform a very specialized approach to take multiple x-rays using the CT scanner and it's a non-invasive technique. We do inject IV contrast dye and we really get very high spatial or high quality images. What we are trying to in that case determine is the functional significance of the blockages so as to plan the next stage of management, whether the patient can be managed just medically or medically plus interventional approach or require some kind of an invasive evaluation. When we fly an aeroplane, we do wind tunnel experiment to make sure that the aeroplane is able to fly. Similar kind of technique, what we call computational fluid dynamics, we model the artery flow and then we define the severity of stenosis and its functional significance. At Valley, we have been fortunate to be really be at the forefront of evaluating coronary artery disease. We in fact implemented CTFFR in 2019. So we were one of the first programs in the New Jersey to have implemented CTFFR or heart flow approach to evaluate blockages. From the hardware perspective, we had the latest and the greatest of the scanning techniques that are available. We have heavily invested in AI techniques and technologies that also help us not only get the best pictures, but also help with the downstream evaluation of the uh, disease process. In addition, we have participated in a number of studies, uh, major clinical trials, as well as ongoing research, and have really established our imaging program. What I really love the most is we have really a great camaraderie and ability to interact with each other. It's not only one person who is making the clinical judgment, but it's the whole team that may be looking at it. And we frequently discuss a lot of interesting and difficult cases. So really the idea that we are part of a village to provide the best care for the patient, I think is the most exciting part.